Hi, I'm Haley, and today I'm going to be walking you through Ignite's Relief Cut Printmaking Kit. There's a lot of stuff in here when you open it up. Uh, you'll find one of these. This is a plexi sheet. Uh, you'll find a Baron. You'll find three brayers of different sizes. You'll find some water soluble ink, some lino blocks, some carving tools, plastic scraper, lots of paper. And we have some guides in here as well. One of them is ours, and it just goes through some of the different tools we have in here. We also have a book. Uh, a beginner's guide to printmaking, it's really helpful. And you might find a pencil in here too. That'll be helpful later. For this process, I'm also using some red acrylic paint and a brush. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can use a hair dryer to your advantage here when you're carving lino. These two things are not included in the kit, but you can check out an acrylic painting kit. And you can also find our hair dryer on the tool wall next to the Fab Lab. So let's get started. First, you're going to need some lino, obviously. We have these little blocks here. Really nice starting size for beginners, I feel. I'm going to draw a little moth. Now, just keep in mind uh, with this relief cut process, the part that you carve away is going to be the negative space. And when we print on here, we're pressing the paper down onto the block and peeling it off. So we're actually going to get a mirror image of whatever we put onto this block. So you kind of have to think backwards. And you'll, you'll see a visual of that in this video that'll help you understand what I mean by that exactly. So I've got my moth, and I think I'm going to start carving him. But one thing I want to do before that is lay down a thin layer of red acrylic. You don't want to cover up your pencil drawing. So you can see I did a really thin layer, uh, and I just hit it with some pretty high heat, and almost instantly it's dry to the touch. So now I'm going to start carving, and I'm going to be using uh, this special carving tool today. Uh, what's really cool about it is it's designed to keep all of the various tips for it inside of the handle. So we're just going to unscrew it here. And we want to be really, really careful because these are very sharp. They're made for carving. So they can, they can be dangerous sometimes if you're not careful. You can see this has two ends. One is the sharp carving end. Most of the time it'll be like beveled. Uh, that's the part you could cut yourself with, so make sure you're careful. Uh, the other end uh, the other curved end is going to be installed in the tip here. So what I'm going to do is unscrew this, and loosen it. I'm going to insert that tip, just like that. When I know it's nice and situated in there, I'm going to screw it back on nice and tight. really don't want this to slip. So you want to make sure it's nice and situated in there before you start carving with it. All right, so that looks good. I feel pretty confident about that. So what I'm going to do now is start carving. I've got my block set up on a bench hook here. This is something that's included in the kit. I've got it hooked 
around the edge of the table so that when I press and carve into this block, it doesn't slide around on me too much. Uh, so I'm going to start carving. For the purposes of this video, I've actually pre-carved a block here. And an important thing to note, when I used the hair dryer on this, it actually softened the lino a little bit. Sometimes cold lino can be really hard to carve, so that heat, that warmth, kind of softens it up a little bit. So if you find that you're struggling, that it's hard to carve through, consider uh, hitting it with the hair dryer for uh, I mean, not even a minute, and you'll notice a big difference. So now I have my carved block. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. And now I think I'm ready to make some prints. All right, so now we're ready to print. Uh, the first thing we're going to do uh, is make sure our space is set up properly. As you can see, I've got my plexi here. This is where we're going to roll out our ink. So uh, other than my acrylic that I already used to paint, I have a lot of empty space to roll out my brayer. That's going to be super important. I've also got lots of empty space on my desk here to lay out prints. Uh, they need a little bit to dry, so you don't want to stack them immediately. Uh, so it's nice to have some area to lay them out and let them dry. Um, I had to put a few things away in order to make this space, but that is an important part of the process, is sometimes between steps you have to make sure your space is set up properly. So the first thing to do is to get ink onto your block here, and we do that using a brayer. I picked the small one because my block is pretty small. And the way you get ink on your brayer is you lay it out on this flat surface, so this plexi here is just perfect for that. Uh, so right now it's kind of in this lump. I'm going to sort of flatten it out. We don't want it to be clumpy. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see how that goes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll it onto my block here. And I'm doing this over a piece of paper because sometimes you overshoot a little. Because this is so small, I'm going to kind of treat it like a stamp. And I'm going to lay out the paper here. I'm just going to place this down where I want it. I want to make sure it doesn't scoot around any, that it remains firm in that spot. I'm going to take my Garin here, and I'm going to use it to apply even pressure. We'll just peel it off and see how it turned out. There you go. A little bit of texture there. You can see the ink didn't get everywhere. Uh, but I kind of like it personally. So the fun thing about printmaking is that you can do this as many times as you want. You can reproduce this now that you have it set up not a lot of effort to reproduce this just as much as you want. There you go. You can see this time it was a little bit different. Each, each print is going to be unique because uh, you're human and you're not a machine. So each one's going to be a little bit different and that's kind of the beauty of it. So once you've done that to your heart's content and you have as many prints as you want, uh, cleanup is super important. Uh, dried ink can ruin tools. So you want to make sure that you have cleaned all of your materials properly. You want to make sure all of the ink and paint is off of this plexi before you're done. And that can, since this is water soluble ink, it should come off in the sink with soap and water, and this scraper tool is a really good tool to get all of that off of the plexi. 
The brayer is super important. We want to make sure there's no ink left on this brayer whatsoever so that the next person who comes in to use the kit is able to use a brayer that works. Um, otherwise, you want to make sure, unlike me, not to get ink on the table. Uh, if you can help it, you know, make sure you wipe up any wet ink so that the next person who comes and uses the table doesn't get ink on their project. Uh, and that's just about it. You've got, you've got your own uh, hand-carved prints. So feel free to come into Ignite and check that out anytime.